All right, this will be my two-day review of the Pine 64 computer on a board, uh, part of a Kickstarter um, project I was backing. Uh, I went all in. I've got all the parts that they offered, including the 7-inch LCD monitor. So let me go over uh, what parts came and how I put them together. Over here is the on-off switch. I have it plugged into the uh, part that says power. There's also a uh, option for to make it a reset button right next to it. At the moment, that button is not working. I suspect I will need to actually solder it in to make it work. Um, I'll probably just move it to the reset button to make sure the button works. But for right now, it's just kind of uh, punched down on there and it is not functioning. Uh, the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth uh, came in a small module. There's only one way to put it in. It just snaps right down. That took about uh, eight seconds to get it out of the static wrap and install. That was pretty easy. There is a 64 megabyte operating system on a micro SD. Uh, basically just pop that right in. Very simple. When it came to the monitor, um, that took a little bit more effort. Um, you can see that there is a connector to the back of the LCD, an extension cable, then over onto the board. Underneath here, there is a small connector for the touch screen. When I first powered the unit on, after about uh, maybe 30 minutes of installation with a couple of checks to the internet, uh, this screen flickered on for um, just a moment. Uh, not brightly, just um, I could see that there was some uh, words on it. And then it knocked the board out and I have not seen it come on since. Um, I have reseated those cables several times but uh, it's very difficult for me to see those cables so it's probably something on my end. I have seen some indication that I might need a different um, set of uh, operating system uh, so I will, um, I found that on the internet, so I will uh, investigate that further. Over here I just have a uh, USB hub. Um, I don't care to be plugging things in and out of a live board so I'm trying to just keep all my um, my hands away from the electronics while they're running. Uh, since the LCD was not working, I went and got the computer monitor off my uh, desk. Um, plugged it in with the HDMI cable, which is right there. Um, and it worked instantaneously. I mean, there was no setup whatsoever. Uh, the screen was a little wide, uh, but um, under the screen, um, under the display options, there was a way to shrink it down just enough that it doesn't go off the sides, which was very easy to do. Um, I opted for the actual power supply that came with it. I've seen a lot of folks um, posting that they're having issues with this board. Um, I would suggest getting the, the power supply that actually matches it. Um, you can't go wrong with you know matched parts. Um, one of the reasons I went all in uh, is because I knew that my board would be dead last, and it was. I um, entered into this Kickstarter project in March. It came actually on my birthday, on June. And uh, there was a quite a few, I mean, I had a lot of time to study, and there was a quite a few um, uh, questions that were answered uh, while I was waiting, and a lot of um, updates that were made. So I believe that my board was the most updated I could get at this time. Um, I will uh, readjust the camera onto my monitor, and we will take a look at it uh, from there. All right, as I mentioned, the uh, power button that I just kind of snapped into place is not functioning at the moment, so I will just start it like so. And it comes right up. I understand that the first time you boot this unit, it takes quite some time and to be patient. Um, since my LCD was not working, I just let it run for like two hours before putting the monitor in. 
So I have no idea what it was doing, um, but I assumed everything went okay. I also should mention that um, I am as far from my Wi-Fi connection as I can be. Um, my Wi-Fi says poor, and yet I've had uh, no trouble whatsoever uh, getting connected, um, running the internet. It's actually worked pretty well. Now, normally this takes, uh, I go booted this, oh, there it goes. Okay, I booted this several times and it just takes uh, like a minute, not even a minute to come up. It is like instantaneous. Um, I did put that funky uh, active screensaver on, the, or the background on there. Um, I may not like that after a while, but uh, for right now, it's pretty cool. Okay, when you first get your Pine 64, you get these programs down the side. Um, I have since added these three. Uh, and like I said, I have, in the last two days, probably put a total of four hours into this machine. Um, maybe a little bit more. And um, I've gone through uh, pretty much most of the options. Right here you have your Google Play. Now I have uh, experience in Unisys and IBM mainframes. Uh, CPM and PC, all the way from DOS uh, through the current Windows. I have a little bit of Mac um, experience. I have some iPad and iPhone experience and even Ubuntu Linux, of which I've been running for years uh, in almost every one of their configurations. And yet I have absolutely zero Android experience. So bear with me as I tumble through these screens. This is a video player. I don't currently have a movie. This is the setup. It's very nice. Uh, I should mention I am using a um, old keyboard and a uh, ball mouse that is ancient and yet they are working quite fine. Uh, you have your Wi-Fi and your Bluetooth. Uh, it even tells you what your data usage is. I have my storage. Um, one of the really nifty options I found under display, not the LCD I was hoping for, but there is a cast screen. And this will um, cast everything I currently see onto my, my television. And that little reboot was unexpected. So I think I have, let's try that again, it has not done that before, let's see, go back to my cast screen, and I can uh, cast it right to my television. familiar with Chromecast you know this little symbol up here and now if I go out and look at my TV indeed everything I am seeing on this particular screen is on my television in my living room so as not to use up all of my minimal Wi-Fi I will turn that back off But that came right out of the box. I didn't do anything. I just poked on that option and it worked. Uh, same with the Wi-Fi. Uh, I had zero uh, configuration problems. I just put in my password and I was done. I have not even used the Ethernet port because I am not close to my, um, my hub, my uh, switch. But um, uh, I will test that at a later time. Going through the rest of the options, if you are familiar with Android, I guess that is what Android looks like. So these are all of the different um, things that came with this. Uh, I've included the YouTube, 
Uh, so that did not originally come with it. And I believe I added the Google settings. No, I think that came with it, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I believe all of these uh, were the original um, options except uh, with the addition of the YouTube. Now I added um, Pandora. Now that is playing on my monitor. I have an HDMI monitor with speakers. I have volume control. And that is very convenient. But I also have a Bluetooth speaker. Bluetooth mode. So I can connect that instantly. That's already connected, just turning it on. And if I go back to my Pandora. now playing out of my $19 uh, waterproof Bluetooth speaker and it'll play in the background just like Pandora normally does so I was doing that uh, while I was playing with the configuration uh, I was actually uh, Chromecasting and Bluetoothing at the same time while I was searching the internet and uh, doing a variety of other things YouTube comes in uh, crystal clear. Here's the video I did when I was unboxing. Ground floor, please. And it is also using my Bluetooth speaker. So there's the video I did uh, like two days ago, if you are interested. get out of that simple simple and be gone all right I am not exactly sure um, oh we have other options um, there is a file system option here now um, this comes with uh, I think two gigs of RAM I purchased uh, but you can add a USB thumb drive or a USB um, hard drive so it says I will be playing with that in the future um, I will probably be downloading some um, uh, spreadsheet and word processing programs to see how well they work on here also I am NOT a gamer so for those out there that um, are interested in my take on if this is a good gaming board uh, I have no idea The last one here is the camera. Uh, there is no camera installed. There is a port for the camera, um, but there is not a camera installed. And I did not go for that option. I'm not sure that was actually offered in the Kickstarter program. I believe it's offered um, uh, in the future, but there is a place. Now, like I said, um, I ordered everything there is to order, including a case for this unit. The case is back ordered. Um, now, I'm not exactly sure how the um, LCD cables will thread through that case, so I'm quite interested in seeing how that's going to work. Plus, I still need to make the LCD function. I noticed that when I flip it on, it still makes a little um, light flash. So, there's some hope that I'll be able to get that working, but it's only been two days. Um, uh, I think I mentioned in my other video that I started... Uh, with a VIC-20 Commodore way back in 1982 and that got me on the road to programming and uh, I followed that by um, a $5,000 IBM XT 
which solidly uh, welded me to that road. <laughs> so, um, this is a great board for someone uh, starting out who wants to be uh, inventive and maybe uh, um, consider a career in computing or just have fun. Um, and that's my plan. So I can't wait to see what I come up with. I'm looking forward to learning some Android. And I even downloaded an Android app developer. So I have already gone through the tutorial and created my first app. Um, I am quite curious if I will be able to copy that app from my computer to this device and see if I can actually make it work. So I'm looking forward to those challenges and uh, hopefully I will have a video in another couple of weeks when I've actually done something with the Pine 64. All right, thank you very much.